Hi, I'm Jamie Clara. I'm the owner of The Amazing Support Company and I'm going to show you how to solve a range of IT problems. Today I'm going to show you how to open an ISO file. An ISO file is an image of a DVD or a CD that you can use instead of actually using the CD or the DVD. In order to open an ISO file, the first thing you will need is an ISO file. So we have this one here as a demonstration. They're usually quite big because they've taken an image of an actual CD or a DVD. So in this case, you can see if I move the mouse over, you can see that the size is 695 meg, about the size of a CD. Now, in order to open that, you're gonna need a program which is called Magic Disk. That can be downloaded by going to Google and type in Magic Disk or Magic ISO, and you can download the latest version from there. Once you've done that and installed it, you'll need to run it the normal way. So you go to All Programs, go to Magic Disk, and click on the icon. It doesn't appear that anything's happened, but you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner we now have a picture of a hand with a disk. And what we're going to have to do is use that program to open up the ISO file. So what we do is we right click it, go to Virtual CD-ROM, and what this does is it makes the computer think that there's an additional CD-ROM drive in it, and we're going to put the virtual image into that virtual CD-ROM drive. So we click on No Media, we click on Mount, Mount is another word for opening. If we go to the desktop, find that file demo ISO, and then click Open. And what will happen is the computer now thinks that we've just installed a disk into the computer. If I go into my computer, it looks here as though we have another disk drive in this case it's an Ubuntu CD, it looks like I've got a drive there with that CD sitting in it, when actually we don't. So instead of running the program, if I actually open the folder, these are all the files which are on that ISO file. And then you can do with them as you wish. So I've just shown you how to open an ISO file. It's a great way of storing disks and DVDs on your computer without having to hold on to the physical disks. And that's how to open an ISO file.